Yes, yes, guys, and welcome to a new video. And today we're going to discuss why City have the easier running in the title race between Man City and Liverpool, guys. Now, before we do, please smash a thumbs up on the video if you've not done so already. Subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. Today's video has been sponsored by the GOATs at Bet Victor. Um, they've sent us this clip in. That they want us to discuss. Play the clip, Bri. Right, I've got a minute to talk about one subject, and my subject this week is why referees are the problem and not VAR. Now, I'm not going to lie, at the start, I never wanted VAR. I wanted football to be the same at every single level. But I'm sick and tired of seeing the same people that cried for VAR to be introduced now moaning that VAR is the problem when it's clear it's the referees that are looking at the screen making these decisions, making poor decisions in real time, making poor decisions after multiple replays. How can you blame the technology when it's the guys that are clearly using it? Because we're all sat at home. We can see they're making the mistake. So why can't they? Don't blame the tech, blame the refs that made us need the tech. Yes, yes, right. You all know, right, especially the ones that watch the live watch-alongs, that we get stressed out about the referees. Referees stressing me out a bear at the moment. Um, I've never been a fan of VAR. I don't like VAR. I think they're making bad mistakes without VAR. They're making bad mistakes with VAR. And VAR just slows the game down. You know what I mean? And I still, you know, it's not really helped for me, in my opinion. You know what I mean? I think some of the offside decisions, okay, fair enough. But just general decisions, bro, like penalties and that, like they're still making bad calls, bro. Yeah. And like, <laughs> I don't, I like Adam says, isn't it? Like, VAR, the, the technology is there. Is it just the fact that it's being used improperly? Is it? Is it? Should we be blaming the referees that are behind that because they're the ones making the decisions? We are, you got to question the guy who's in the van in it in the VAR studio, going, mm. "How have you not seen what we've seen?" Do you know what I mean? Because they're the ones ultimately that are speaking to the referees and they're the ones making the VAR decisions for them, and they're they're, mm. they're, they're coming to them conclusions. Yeah. Is it? It's it's a weird one. It's a weird one. I I just personally I hate the inconsistency with it. You probably get that because you've always got a different VAR official rather than having like an outsourced VAR official. They use all the referees, don't they? So time they, to outsource, isn't it? Outsource. Let's just get a VAR official in it, like <laughs> one guy who does it all the time. Then you'll see some consistency. Yeah, not for me. I'm not a massive fan. Nah. But guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below, and be sure to check out their full video. We'll link the uh, the video in the description. Uh, and always, obviously, it's uh, 18 and over, and be gamble aware. Right, let's get into it then. Compare the runnings. Getting down to that nervy part of the season, people starting to lose it a little bit. Um, right, cities. We're only looking at prem games, guys. Obviously, we've got FA Cup games. Games, more FA Cup games if we get through and Champions League but we're just going to focus on the Premier League so fixtures have been rearranged start off we say uh, 2nd of April Burnley away not an easy tie that bro um, nope. Liverpool at home then we got Wolves away again not easy and then it gets a little bit easier for us Brian at home Watford at home Leeds away Newcastle at home and the final two games of the season not easy uh, we've got West Ham away and Aston Villa at home, bro. So what? What's other than the Liverpool game there? Yeah, obviously. What? What's standing out to you right there? Um, my first ones are Wolves and West Ham. West Ham away difficult. Both away. Um, away from home. Yeah, Wolves away also difficult. Wolves away is a rough game. That's a rough game. I don't like that. Um, and yeah, West Ham away. Yeah, I mean we went there in the Carabao drew nil nil. Mm. My only hope with the West Ham game is. At that point, is that, do you know what I mean, do they have anything to play for? Can they gain anything yeah. off it? Do you know what I mean? Is, I that, saying. is a win for them going you know to I mean, better them in any way or are they already just chill? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking about the West Ham game. But you know what I mean? That'll the, be their last game at the uh, the London Stadium. That'll be their well. last home game of the season. So they'll probably, you know what I mean? They'll go all out for it. They'll go all out for mm. it. But there's a couple of things that I'm looking at, weird. bro. I'm looking at that four match period, that four match block, Brighton, Watford, Leeds, Newcastle. I think we get twelve points there. I really, really do. I know some of them, some decent teams there, but I, th I think we'll get. I think we'll get twelve points. So what am I saying, then, bro? I'm basically saying if you can come out of the Wolves game on seventeenth April, top of the league, I think. I think we've got a great, great chance of going on and sealing the win. Yeah. I think if you come out of that game, obviously not top of the league, um, it might be a little bit tricky. However, we'll flick over now to the Liverpool fixtures, and and this is why I think City have got the easier running. So. Um, they've got obviously Arsenal they played tonight um, or obviously yesterday depending on when you're watching the video and then they've got Watford at home um, City away Villa away 
United at home, Everton at home, Newcastle away, Tottenham at home, Southampton away, Wolves at, at Anfield. So, they've got some tricky games there, bro. Now, that what I'm looking at, I'm looking at that four-match block again. So, that four-match block that I just mentioned for City, their corresponding four-match block, bro, is United at home, Everton at home, Newcastle away, Tottenham at home. They're difficult they are, games. Disgusting. Difficult games. I didn't. You know what I mean? Once I've like laid it out, like I've got it in front of me, two tabs and that. Um, and when you see it like that side by side, I have to agree. I have to agree. Our running does seem favourable. Definitely favourable. It's, so, so it's weird that our running seems favourable, but yet the media are absolutely sprinting away with the fact that they're saying it's in Liverpool's hands and it's nowhere near in the Little City's hands. That's not a thing. Mm. And it's weird. It's weird because they've got. A, you know what I mean? In this. In this time, obviously, the people watching this, they might have already, do you know what I mean? They might have already beaten Arsenal. They might have dropped points against Arsenal. We're not sure about the situation yet. But from our standpoint, they've got to play in in these in their running. They've still got to play us, Arsenal. Uh, they've got to play Everton. They've got to play United. I know Everton aren't having a good time anyway, but do you know what I mean? It is a derby. They've got to play United. They've got to play Tottenham. And like I said then, the I was, game of the season, it's Wolves. Wolves. I was mentioning Wolves just then, but oh, you know, Connor, Connor Cody, Cody yeah. it'll roll over <laughs> sure for them rapid. Season, it did, actually. Yeah, yeah, Jember. yeah, I, yeah I'm sure they had them at the last game of the season. Mm. <laughs> What's going on there, then? Warm balls. Um, but yeah, you know what, guys? I'm looking at the fixtures. I'm, 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 I'm liking them. Obviously, you've got tough games. It's Premier League, you always going to have tough games. You're never going to get seven, seven or eight easy games in a row. It's not, not going to happen. But I think on the whole... I think I'm pretty calm with it. I think if we come out of that Wolves game, top of the league, I think we go on to win the league. I think we go on to win the league. And even if we don't win, even if we don't come out of that uh, Wolves game, top of the league, as long as we're within a point or two, I still think we've got a great chance. You know what I mean? Because Liverpool got some tough games there. I don't buy into this thing that, I don't buy into this theory that Liverpool win every game to the end of the season. I don't believe it. I think they will drop points. I really, really do. Especially with Champions League thrown in there. They've got a very, very flat team. Yeah, you know I mean, you take out Salah and Mane, their, their team is dead. You know, what I mean, I know Diaz is coming, but you know, I, I, I just think you take Salah out of that team, bro. Salah's not going to be able to play ninety minutes for every single game to the end of the season, especially with them still being in the FA Cup, especially with them still being in the Champions League. I don't see it. I really, really don't. I think at the moment Salah's pretty much carrying that team. I know they've got guys chipping in elsewhere, but I do, I do think you take him out of the side. And I think I think they'll be in trouble, and there will be games that they'll have to take him out. They can't they can't put him in every single game. They can't play ninety minutes every three days. It's not possible. So I, I'm I'm looking forward to. I think that four match block there: United, Everton, Newcastle away, Tottenham at home. I think they drop points in them in that in that block. I really really do. I don't know who against. If they come out of that four match block with with twelve points, I'd very be very surprised. If we don't come out with twelve points in our games, I'd be very surprised. I think we will get twelve points, and I don't think they will get twelve points. So essentially, what we're saying here, City need to get the win against Burnley. We need to get that whole sort of this recent form out of our system. We need to get the three points, bro. Yeah. We need to avoid defeat against Liverpool. You know, what I mean, I see people coming and saying, "No, we need to win against Liverpool." I'd love to win against Liverpool. That doesn't listen, need to happen. Listen to the words. <laughs> Avoid defeat against Liverpool. You lose against Liverpool, bad situation. You draw, we're still in a chill. We're still top of the league. Still you know top I mean? of the league, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, avoid defeat against Liverpool. Come out of Wolves, top of the league, and we win the league. I genuinely believe that. I genuinely believe it. And even if we're not top of the league against Wolves, as long as we're within a point or two, I still think we've got a great chance. I still don't think it's over. I'm fighting until the last day of the season, bro. I'm not giving up this title until it's mathematically impossible. Well, bro, there's no, there's absolutely no reason to concede this title. I see people losing their heads all over Twitter and that. And yeah, it's because the pressure gets to you. Pressure, the pressure gets to you, but you can't handle the pressure. You know we're I mean? used to it by now, man. Yeah. We've been in these races for the last <laughs> five years with Liverpool. Yeah, they are rough. They're, they're horrible to take and that. And it does make you sweat in that. But... End of the day, the position that we find ourselves in, even if Liverpool win their game in hand, we are still top of the Premier League. We are we are at a point in front of Liverpool, still top of the Premier League. So, and, and you got to basically say to yourself, do you back us to win these games that, that you look at, I mean, with the fixtures that we just mentioned then? And I back us to win most of them games. Yeah. Um. Obviously, there are tricky fixtures. Like you just said, it's the Premier League. There are always tricky fixtures, the games that just throw you off. But if you're going to look at it and go, oh, yeah, but we might drop points here, we might drop points there. Look at Liverpool's fixtures. They mm. might drop points as well. And they've got, they do have a harder running than us. I agree. They have a harder running than us. And 
I, I think it's more likely that City go on one of these one of these streaks. Do you know what I mean these winning streaks? Because we 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 seem to do that quite a lot. Do you know what I mean once we get a bit of form going, get a bit of consistency, we usually go on quite a bit of a run. Mm. I'd back us to go on a run more than I'd back Liverpool to go on a run to the end of the season and win every single game. Because they're already on a run as well. They are, yeah, Can I they know. keep it up until the end of the season? Can they keep it up? I think if they get it to the end of the season, I think I was trying to look at it there, I think it would be, it would be a 17 or 18 game winning streak if they yeah. if they keep don't it up to the end of the season. Don't see it. I don't see that happening. They will drop points. We might drop points. Do you know what I mean? Like uh, Big Steve said when he, did, when he did live stream with him, this ain't over this title race yet. There's going to be twists and turns to come. Yeah. But... Look at the fixtures. I gotta say, we're in the better position here. It's more in our hands than it's in their hands. I agree. Final point on this, then, bro. Who's got the easier final day? City. I've got Aston Villa at home. Liverpool have got Wolves at home. See, uh, the, think... the the thing for the Wolves is difficult, right? Wolves is difficult, but it's at Anfield and that. But then, uh, and the, the thing for me with Aston Villa is the story behind it. Mm. If if it comes down to the last day of the season, right, and it depends on who wins on that day, do you know what I mean, or whatever, Gerard, do you know what I mean, he would absolutely love to beat us. The fans would be behind it because they wouldn't want Grealish to win the Premier League when they, when he's there, do you know what I mean, lift the Premier League in front of them. There's a lot behind it. There's a story element to it. Whereas Wolves away to Liverpool, there might might be kind of just like a dead game. You know what, you know what I think, yeah? This, this might sound a bit weird, but I feel like Aston Villa would more likely beat City than Wolves would beat Liverpool. But I feel like Wolves would more likely draw against Liverpool than the Aston Villa would. I feel like the Aston Villa game, I feel like City would win or Villa would win. I, 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 I don't see a draw happening. But in the Liverpool-Wolves game... Like I could, you could see a, yeah. I could see a draw, like a 1-1 or a something. A 1-1 or something, yeah. Um, but I wouldn't see Wolves winning there. In the City game, I just think like, you know, they do have some good players. Coutinho. Um, yeah, could can Villa get a goal against City? I'm not sure, you know, possibly. Uh, and they may, may take the points. But look, I think we've got the better draw there, guys. We've explained the reasons why. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. This league is all to play for, guys. Do not give up, you know what I mean? Just because we get one bad result, yeah? Keep going. We're still top of the league. Still has to lose. So stick with it. You know what I mean? Stay positive, guys. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Go check out that video by Bet Victor. Link in the description. Let us know your thoughts on the comments that they discuss as well. Uh, shout out to them. Remember, guys, 18 and over. And uh, be gamble aware whenever you're gambling. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. See you in a bit. <laughs>